Hey there do-it-yourself technician. Today I'm going to answer the question of why do I use an iPhone? It's actually a question I get asked quite a lot. Why an iPhone? Way back in the dim dark past, sometime around 2004, we started getting rumours of Apple developing a phone of some sort. At that stage the iPod was pretty much clearly the best music player out there and the interface was really awesome. I'll be honest, I never actually owned one because I just wasn't into music all that much at that particular point in my life. But then, in early 2007, the announcement we'd all been waiting for. Apple was releasing the iPhone. Everything that was the best about the iPod and a phone. Well, today, we're introducing three revolutionary products of this class. The first one is a widescreen iPod with touch controls. The second is a revolutionary mobile phone. And the third is a breakthrough internet communications device. So, three things. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications device. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. An iPod. A phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. What an amazing combination. It was available in the US only from the middle of that year, but didn't come to Australia until the 3G version was released, mid-2008. I did play with a couple of the original iPhones from people that I knew that had bought them in the US and brought them back out here, and honestly, I thought they were amazing. I'd been using personal digital assistants, PDAs, and even a couple of the early smartphones for a few years before this. And I'll actually link to a video that I'm going to do up here. Some of my history of my use of early PDAs and smartphones. On release day, I still wasn't 100% sure I was actually going to get the iPhone. It wasn't until about lunchtime when my wife said, Why don't you just go and get one? You'll be miserable if you don't. And I rang her brother who worked at a Vodafone shop. He said, Yep, we've still got stock. I'll put one aside for you. And off I toddled to get my first iPhone. It was love at first use. And here it is in all of its... 4.3 inch glory. Yes, it still works. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is the actual phone that I bought that day. It's been used by a few different people since then, but it still works. But why did I choose an iPhone? Honestly, the main reason was because it just worked. That may seem a bit odd to some people, but this was the early days. The first Android phones had only just come out and they were a bit difficult. You could fiddle and customise a whole bunch of things, which you certainly couldn't do on the iPhone. But on Android phones, you almost had to in order to make them work well, especially managing battery life. There were Blackberries and Nokias and all sorts of things available at the time, but nothing that was as simple, sexy and just worked as the Apple iPhone. You see, I spent all of my week fixing other people's technology problems. I didn't want to spend time getting mine to work. I just wanted it to work. I wanted to run my own business and fix other people's computers, not be dicking around trying to get mine to do what I wanted it to do. So the next question is, why have I stayed? And the answer is, because it continues to work. The 3GS was the upgrade from the 3. Great phone. Then I had an iPhone 4S. I skipped the 4, not for any particular reason, and because I didn't need a new phone at the time. The 5S, again, skipped the 5 because I didn't need a new phone. This was a great phone. Up to my current phone, 
an iPhone 7. So there's a decent amount of effort involved in changing over to a different type of phone. A lot less now than there was in the old days. Then it was really painful and I changed people from one direction to the other and vice versa in my time. It's also costly. A whole bunch of things that you've already bought, you've got to buy them again. I don't want to go through that. I've used Oppos and Samsungs and Pixels and Blackberries and honestly there's nothing that's in any way better than the iPhone that I'd want to change over for. I bought this iPhone 7 second hand in 2017. It's been just about flawless. The battery is starting to struggle a little, especially when I'm playing games or using it to record videos. But you know, at three or four years old, that's the sort of thing you expect out of a phone. At some stage, I'll probably give in and upgrade it to an iPhone XR or maybe the new SE when it's a few years old. But I'll probably still be buying a refurbished phone because honestly, I can't see the point in dropping a thousand dollars or thereabouts on a piece of technology that's extremely fragile but also does go out of date so quickly and devalues so quickly. I really love places like Green Gadgets Australia, which is the eBay store that I think I've bought the last four or five phones for people off. They really just work exceptionally well. My question for you is, what sort of phone do you use and why? Can you convince me to switch to Android? I doubt it, but try. Let me know in the comments area down below. And at the same time, help me out by smashing the like button. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician, to learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and repair it when it goes wrong. There's some older episodes you may not have seen before, here and here. And if you hit the subscribe button down here, and then click the alarm bell, you'll be notified of any new episodes as they're released. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.